Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to Angie's Diamond Painting Adventures. How is everybody doing today? I hope you are all doing well. If you are new here, hello. My name is Angie. If you're coming back to spend some more time with me, thank you so much for coming back. I truly, truly appreciate it. Today, we have an unboxing adventure. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, you may be able to tell where from. <laughs> yes, we have another craftably untubing to do today. Yes. This is one of their 4.0 versions. Yes, you can tell because it has a, a beautiful poop, poople, oi, purple tube with an adjustable strap here. Yeah. And then if you twist... And pull, you can adjust this tube to any length you would like. Yeah, there you go. It's locked in now, so it is full. Well, no, it's not fully opened. But there you go. You can twist and adjust this any which way you want. Love it. It will also come with a tag on the bottom. Yes, the tag does have a snap closure, so you can actually pull this tag off and put it on the top if you so choose to. Yeah, we have a twist top. Let's get into Craftably 4.0. I will say that this is from one of my favorite artists. Yeah, yeah, I had to think about my thoughts there for a second. <laughs> it is from one of my favorite artists. Yes, we'll get into that. First thing you will find is the Craftably Toolkit in this lovely, lovely purple burlap bag. Yeah. Let's see what's inside. What's inside? In the 4.0 kit, you will find their toolkit. Yes, there it is. There is the branded toolkit tells you everything that is in there. We are going to go ahead and open this up and check out what it is in here. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. So, first off, you will get your diamond painting pen. Yes, it has a single placer on this end and a thin four placer on that end. Very sparkly, sparkly pen. There you go. You will also get a nice pair of sharp, sharp tweezers. Yeah, ow, yeah, ouch. <laughs> they are very sharp, so make sure you keep the sheath on and keep the tweezers away from pets and children. You will also find a purple squishy that goes onto your pen. It comes just like that. You just slide the pen into the purple squishy and there you go now you have some more support and comfort while you diamond paint you will also find a nice plate of wax nice size yeah you will find a white Mosfa boat this is the boats that are squared off so it is less likely for this to tip over while you're diamond painting you will also find two more multi-placers. We have another four-placer and a seven-placer. Yes, always a good thing. Love, love me my thin four and seven. It is what I use on every single diamond painting, except for my specials. The specials, I just use a single-placer. Yeah, it work, that works just fine for me. So that is what you find in this bag. We're going to go back into the other bag because there's more goodies in the other bag. Yeah. So, there's more stuff in here. What you may ask. Well, let's just dump it out and find out what is in here. Woo! We get two more plates. Excuse me. Two more caddies of wax. They are branded. They each have two plates of round wax in there. If you are new to diamond painting, please remember that the wax does have a plastic sheet on it. 
please remember to take the plastic sheet off before you try poking your drill pen into it because it will not work. You will also find two full rolls of washi tape. Look at that. It looks like we got a birthday party going on. Nice. I like it. I like it. Also included, you will get a random a cover minder. Yeah. Looks like we got a purple drop this time. Very, very pretty. And I will say, guys, these magnets are some of the strongest magnets. See, I didn't, I just got close to it and it, yeah. So some of the strongest magnets and I just, I love these. These are so cute. I think I have a purple one, a white one, and a red one. So cutie, cutie. And it will come in this little container for you for safe keeping. Yes, yes. All right. So I will tell you that the cover minder and the washi tape, they are randomly picked, guys, okay? So just because I got this one with this painting does not mean that you will get the same one. It does not mean that you will get the same washi tape as I did as well. All right, let's get the painting out of the tube. Yes. All right, wrapped up with a rubber band, we have... We have lots of stuff, guys. We've got lots of stuff. Lots. We do have a welcome to the Craftably family, a little welcome note. We have customer service phone number and email. Any issues or problems, just give them a call, shoot them an email, and they will get back to you. It will tell you everything that is coming in, in your diamond painting kit. On the reverse side, it will tell you <clears throat> the how to diamond paint, the eight steps of how to diamond paint. You will also find what is new in their 4.0 kits. Yes. You will also find a sticker sheet. Yes. Here is, oh my word guys, wow, okay. Here is the sticker sheet. sheet. They are pre-cut and ready for you to go, go, go. Can you see that, guys? We have 60 colors in this gorgeous painting. And we have one, two, three ABs and a crystal. I'm trying to cover that. <laughs> so that you don't see. But you can see it is from my favorite artist, Elena Lazareva. Yes, please. All day long. Uh-huh. All right. Let us uh, get into uh, Miss Elena Lasreva. Which one did I get this time? Um, this one I was unaware of until my friend, Miss Chef Diamond, yeah, she was like, did you see? And I said, no. And she goes, oh, you need to see it. And I saw it and I was like, yeah, that's mine. Um, this is absolutely gorgeous, okay, um, it is all rolled up, we do have, let's get the beads out from in between, from underneath it, okay, there's no picture on there, so I will show you, give you a preview of these gorgeous, gorgeous colors, this lighting is not good today, let's see if, can we turn it, can we turn it, can we turn it, there we go. There are the gorgeous colors that come in this painting, all 60 of them. Yeah, and we're going to get into it. Look, 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 guys. Wow. Yeah. Yep, we're going to get into that. All right. On your diamond painting, you will find there will be a small piece of tape. No big worries, guys. It is very easy to remove this piece of tape. Okay. I just take my craft knife, just like this, and I very gently, very gently, just score it, and it will pop open. There you go. See? Gentle, gentle, and it's opened. And I did absolutely no damage to the canvas. So let's get the tape off. Let me roll this backwards. I can roll this backwards because it is poured glue. And... 
Wow, I'm seeing, now I'm not seeing the image guys, but I'm seeing the colors and oh my word, they're Angie colors. Yeah, they are Angie colors. Wow, -za. Wow, -za, wow, -za, wow, -za. let me make sure I have it. All right, here we go guys. It's got a little roughed up over here on the corner. Are you ready for this gorgeousness? I don't know if I'm ready for this gorgeousness, but we're going to do it together. We're going to do it in three, two, one. Miss Angie got Victorian Lady by Elena Lacereva. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, my word. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh my God. Okay. Um, with a craftably canvas, you will find on the top here, you will find their logo, craftably diamond painting. You can't see that because this painting is big enough. There we go. Right there. Craftably diamond painting. In the upper left, we have a legend that your numbers, symbols, and DMC codes. Okay. We also have surged and scalloped edges to prevent from fraying. Okay, that is a big list. Yeah. Bottom left, you will have the name of the art, the name of the artist, and you will have a small thumbnail. There you go. Victorian Lady by Elena Lazareva. In the bottom right, you will find another legend. Nice, nice. And you will also find a schematic picture of what it is. This is absolutely gorgeous, guys. Um, when I first saw this, immediately, it reminded me of Mary Poppins. Yeah, I, immediately, when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, she looks like Mary Poppins. And I absolutely love Mary Poppins. Love it. Love it. The the old movie, guys. The, the older one with um, Julie Andrews and Dick Van Dyke. Yes. Yes. All right. Let's check out the drill field. Let's see how our drill field is today. 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 Come on. Work with me. Work with me. Work with me. Thank you. Here we go. Nice drill field. Look at that blocking, guys. Yes. Gorgeous, gorgeous drill field. Look at the sparkle coming off. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Here we're going to get into some confetti because she does have flowers on her hat. Yes. Gorgeous. Look at those gorgeous eyes. Nice and clear symbols in the eyes. That is always a plus plus. Yeah. I am going to absolutely love this. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous colors. Pinks, purples, blues. Yeah, we have some green and we have some brown. But the... The main focus is all these bright colors that is on this beautiful Victorian lady. Look at all that lace work going on. Absolutely gorgeous. 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 Look at that. Look at those blues, guys. Look at those blues. I love it. I love it. But then again, I love all Elena Let's Ravis artwork. Absolutely. Um... I thought I had all of hers. I do not. I know of at least two that I have not get, gotten yet. One is called Sad Fairy and the other one is called A Thousand and One Arabian, excuse me, A Thousand and One Nights. Um, they will be in my collection soon <laughs> because I just love this artist. I absolutely love it. All right. So let, I'm going to roll this back just a little bit because we're going to do, of course, the sticky test. With Craftably, their cover sheet is much thicker than any other cover sheet that I have worked with before. And I don't know if you can see the gl the shine on that glue. It's just, yeah. You could tell already that that is going to be some really strong glue. Okay. But we're going to do the test. 
gently, gently with the fingertip. I'm going to touch very gently. I am not going to put any pressure on it. Yeah. Okay. That is very, it's so sticky that it doesn't want to give me back my finger. There we go. It is very, very sticky, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. You will also find a little logbook sticker. There you go. There is the artwork. Victorian lady. It is a 20 inch by 28 inch round by Elena Lazareva. And you can put your start and finish date and then just slap this in your diamond painting journal and you are good to go. Yes. Um, I did not show you the tag, but the tag itself that came on the tube, it does tell you what is the contents inside the tube. So there you go. Okay. It will tell you what's in the tube. I love that. I love that. All right. Let's get into these beauties. We're going to turn Miss Victorian Lady over just for a minute so that we can get into the beautiful diamonds. Yeah. Wow. This is, I think, if I remember correctly, out of all of the craftables that I have untubed so far from the 4.0 version, I think this is the one that has the largest amount of colors. Yeah. So I'm quite, I'm actually quite excited. Oh, wow. It's double bag. Wow. Oh, because it broke. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Craftably. Thank you. Great quality control. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it broke right there. So what they did was instead of just sending it out like that, they put it in another bag for me. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That. So, so much. Yeah. It's the little things, guys. It's the little things that make company. All right. Come on. I think I'm just going to go ahead and put them back in this one. But let's go through this real quick. Or as quick as we can. I am going to just go ahead and fan them out for you. They are all pre-bagged and numbered. Okay. So here we go with some beautiful, there, there it is guys. There's my color palette. Okay. These are my three favorite colors. Pink, purple, blue. Yeah. How could I not? Right? Right. Then we have another blue and some yellows. Gorgeous. All right. Some more greens and pinks. Some peachy colors. That is either 310. Yeah, most likely 310. Some grays. Look at that purple. Wowza. Gorgeous. Gorgeousness. There we go. How about that color palette? Grays and reds. Yeah. Grays and reds. Here we go with some blues. Wow, wow, wow. And a little bit of gray there. Loving it so far. Loving it. How about another purple? Yeah. Bet you that's probably uh, 550, everybody's favorite purple. Not that I don't like it. I do like it. Um, but my favorite purple is 38, 37. Look at that pink, guys. Hello. That has Miss Angie written all over it. Yeah. Gorgeous. Nice bright yellow. And then we have some olive green. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Wow. Azaw. Hello. Can we say blue? Tinker. Look. Blue. <laughs> We have some browns and some more blues. Oh, wow. Look at these, like, rose-colored pinks and that gray. Well, this is more of a coral color, but still, wow. Wow, wow. Wow. Yeah, we're, we're almost halfway through, guys. We're almost halfway through. Okay, some more muted colors there. Look at that teal. Hello. Hello, yes. 
some browns and some greens, another bright blue, another shade of brown, yes, yes, another light sage green, a beautiful baby blue, wow, let's see, what else, what else, we got some, these guys are stuck together and that one is trying to escape, you see, you, you see him? She's trying to escape. No, no scabies. Get back in there. Thank you. All right. Look at these colors, guys. Some more sage greens. Beautiful. 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 All right. I'm going to save that one, that one, that one, and that one for last. And we have some mustard colors, some teals and dark teals and light teals and blues. Lots of this shade. Look at that, guys. Gorgeous. All right. Let us get into the ABs. Hello. Can we say a white AB? Yeah. If you are new to diamond painting and you are not sure what an AB is, an AB stands for Aurora Borealis. You will, it's kind of hard to see it on these drills. There, when I turned it, it you could kind of see the iridescent popping off right, right there. Okay, so AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It is an iridescent coating that they put on top of the drills to make them sparkle and shine just a little bit more. This next one I show you, you will definitely be able to see the AB coating on it. There you go. Okay. So all of that extra shimmer and shine, yeah, that's the Aurora Borealis. Nice little coating on that. Beautiful. And another one of my favorites is green. I love my greenery to sparkle and shine. And this is also an AB. Gorgeous. In the 4.0 round kits, most... Most of them, I am not 100% sure if all of them are, but most of them will include a crystal. This one is a very pale pink crystal. And that is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. That is going to make it sparkle and shine so much more. Yes, yes. All right. This is the broken bag. We're going to put that over there. Let us see where these beautiful AB and crystals go in this beautiful, beautiful painting. You know what? I will put those away later because that there's a lot of them. So we're going to, we're just going to judge them off to the side here. Um, let me pull these back out. All right. Turn Miss Victorian Lady over. Hello, beauty. Hello, hello, hello. All right. Oh, I dropped one. I dropped one. Shame on me. All right. So we have AB08, AB32, AB39. Okay. So we have white, purple, green, and this is our. <clears throat> Excuse me, our crystal. Okay, so the white is the dot, and yes, yeah, wow, okay. All there, all in here, all the way down, guys. Big section of it right there there's some more here okay let's see we have some more outlining this is that's gonna be gorgeous outlining the roses in her hat they're all ABs okay then you see this green dot that is the green AB so we have white and green ABs in her hat <sighs> And then these equal signs, 
let me double check, make sure, so I don't misinform. Yes. The equals right here, all of those equals, that's all crystals, guys. All of that is crystals. Wow, and look, all of the flowers are outlined in the white AB. Gorgeous, even up here. Okay, this, this leaf is all green ABs. Okay, then we have the white again, outlining this flower here. We have the equals in, in the center of it. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Love it, love it. All right, I'm trying to see. I am pretty sure, yep, I am correct. Oh, we even have some crystals up in here. No, excuse me, excuse me. No, no. No, there's no crystals up in here, sorry. Nope, but we do have white ABs sprinkled in her face. Just sprinkled. Gorgeous. And then all through her collar, guys. All through her collar. And into the bodice of her top. All of that is ABs. Okay, so wherever you see the white in here, that's all AB. Um, let me see. The, the purple AB is a number six. So let's see if they're in the bows. No. Um, I might have to change that. There are no ABs in the bows. There's no ABs. There's no crystals in the bows. I might have to switch that. Might have to change that. So basically... Up in here, it is all white AB, scattered throughout, okay, all AB, um, white AB, excuse me, white ABs. Okay, so here's where the purple ABs are. It outlines this part here. All of that is going to be purple AB. Beautiful. Beautiful. Gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Which makes sense because we did not have much of the purple. And that is because it only outlines right there. That's it. Um, I probably, I'm going to do something with these bows. I have not decided what yet. I might get pink um, quad cubes from DP with sparklers. And put them in the center of the bows. And then leave everything else the way it is. But I think the pink quads would look absolutely gorgeous right in the middle of the bows. But there you have it, guys. The beautiful Victorian lady from Craftably by the lovely Elena Lazareva. I will leave the link to this in the description box down below. You will also find in the description box a couple of links to help the channel out. They are not necessary, but they are very much appreciated. You will also find a section that says, these are a few of my favorite things. Yes, that is where you could find all the things that Miss Angie goes, all the websites, excuse me, that Miss Angie goes to shop for either diamond painting tools, accessories, diamond paintings themselves it's all in that section these are a few of my favorite things you will also find the link to my instagram yes i am on instagram please uh come on over give me a follow see what i'm up to i do try i i've been slacking i know i've been slacking but i do try to post a, a picture every single day on instagram if you have stumbled across my channel, first of all, hello. Thank you so much for staying. I would love, love, love if you have not already subscribed to the channel. I would love for you to be part of my diamond painting adventures. It is very easy to do and it is absolutely free. Right about here, you will find a subscribe button. Once you push that, so that button, you are automatically subscribed 
to Angie's Diamond Painting Adventures. After you push that, you will notice there will be a little bell. It will show up. If you push that bell and select all from the drop down menu, you will get notified each and every single time I upload a video. And on Saturdays, guys, yes, I do go live. Yeah, yeah. I go live every single Saturday, uh, temporarily right now at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the in the U.S. So come on in, say hello, let's have a little chat, let's have some laughs. We have an absolute blast on my lives, guys. Yes, yes. Uh, on that note, I am going to say thank you, thank you so much for watching today. But it is time for Miss Angie to bid you all adieu, but not before I remind you to always do what you love, love what you do, and always stay adventurous. I love you guys. I will see you all real soon. I can't fit the heart in there. There we go. <laughs> I will see you all real soon. Bye, guys.